Crowning Glory Prince Harry's Secret Euro 20 Spray on Hair Trick to Get Thick, Do, Claims Pro, as Bald Spot has doubled since marriage. The mystery of Prince Harry's spare hair has sparked a right royal beauty scandal. Hello everyone welcome to my channel. I hope everyone having wonderful day after watching is video please subscribe button and keep watching video. Your subscription is very important. The Duke of Sussex, 38, was seen with thick, dark, locks in a promotional head shot for Better Up, an American mental health tech startup, earlier this week, yet days earlier his flame-colored mane appeared much thinner and lighter at a polo match in Singapore. So, what's the deal? Is Harry getting closer to the crown or is he doing all he can to hold on to his red locks? Commentators claimed Harry's promo shot had been photoshopped, but experts believe the answer is far less high-tech and actually lies on the shelves of your local pharmacy. Founder of SPX Spencer hair, Stevenson, a leading hair loss and hair transplant advisor claims Harry's luxuriant mane is likely down to spray on hair used for events and shoots. He added, I think it's very likely he is using nanogen hair fibers. This is an A-list celeb secret and helps many when they need to thicken their hair up instantly for a photo shoot or a movie. You can pick up nanogen fiber spray for as little as Euro 20 from Boots. The brand claims nanogen keratin fibers merge perfectly with your own hair using electrostatic charge to give instant, natural and durable hair thickness which lasts all day. Spencer added, I think Harry's hair shows signs of being helped as it looks darker and thicker. While the prince would look handsome bald or with luxuriant locks, experts predict Harry's hair thinning will accelerate, a predicament facing most men in middle age. Nearly 7 million Brits experience baldness or hair loss, and even A-list celebs and David like Wayne Beckham Moon. are rumored to have had treatment to combat their thinning thatches. The NHS states that hair loss is not usually anything to be worried about and can be triggered by factors such as stress, after an illness, weight loss or iron deficiency. In midlife men most hair loss is hormonal and not linked to these conditions. Spencer said, Harry has experienced a significant amount of hair loss as a result of male pattern baldness. Harry cruelly called his brother William's hair loss, alarming, in his controversial autobiography Spare, but Will seemingly embraced his baldness by forking out Euro 180 for a no one buzz cut back in 2018. In contrast, it appears that Harry is doing all he can to hold on to his ginger thatch. Sources said he also underwent a thickening procedure at the prestigious Philip Kingsley Trichological Clinic in London's Mayfair in 2020, where treatments can cost up to Euro 236 clients applying daily topical scalp drop solution of minoxidil and consuming a daily oral capsule which works by blocking the conversion of testosterone into dihydrotestosterone. A source at the time said, Harry's visit caused a real stir. This company is so prestigious. It's one of the best places in the world. It's got a whole range of different treatment plans. The richest, most famous, and well-connected use it. The meeting with Harry went well. Harry is far from alone in seeking out treatments, with the UK hair loss market being worth Euro 6 million in 2020, with top products including vitamin supplements and hair loss treatments. It isn't the first time people queried if a photo had been retouched, after his Time 100 cover with Meghan Markle in September 2021 where he sported a thick head of hair. There is no suggestion that he Harry edited the picture the treatments himself. to help stop further loss and help regrow his hair then he will likely be bald like his brother William in 18 months, said Spencer. Meanwhile, hair expert Dr. Asim Shamalak from Manchester's Crown Clinic previously claimed Harry's bald patch doubled in size after marrying Meghan. Dr. Asim Shamalak whose celeb clients include Callum Best and TV's Dr. Christian Jessen, said, Prince Harry's hair loss looks to have accelerated in the last few years since his marriage to Meghan. His bald patch is more noticeable around the crown area, but his hair looks to be thinning fast around the front of his hair too. While we may be able to attribute this to stress, the most likely reason for his hair loss is the Windsor baldness gene. After the royal wedding celebrations, Prince Harry had a turbulent few years, 
from stepping back from the royal family with, with the famous family over his bombshell saga. Oprah Winfrey interview and spare autobiography. And that in that time he's become a father of two, and there are many men who think the stress and exhaustion of fatherhood have robbed them of precious strands. Prince Harry may have sought treatment in California, now that he's relocated to Santa Barbara with Meghan and their two kids, Archie, four, and Lilibet, two. In January, Prince Harry slammed Prince William's baldness for being more advanced than mine, despite there being just three years in age between them. He wrote that the future king's resemblance to their mother, the late Princess Diana, had faded. He wrote, I looked at Willie, really looked at him, perhaps for the first time since we were little, taking in every detail, his familiar scowl, which had always been the norm in his dealings with me. Thank you for watching video.